factoring polynomials, the big overview picture. The first thing that we really have to understand before we talk about the methods that we're going to learn is really what does factoring mean. And there are really two ways to look at this. The first way is a little bit more simple. It's just to undo multiplication. But really what it boils down to is, okay, let's figure out what two numbers or what two values were multiplied together to get what we are talking about. So when you were in elementary school, you did factoring, and you did it on a simpler scale than what we are going to do, but this is what you would do. You would make a list of all the factors for a given number. So when I look at the number 8, I have to figure out what two values can I multiply together to get the number 8. Well, I know that 1 times 8 makes 8, and also 2 times 4 makes 8. Those are all of the factors of 8. Those are all of the ways that I can multiply to get up to 8. If I do the same thing for 24, I can do 1 times 24, then I could do 2 times 12, then I could do 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. And those are all the factors of the number 24. 45, I could do 1 times 45, I could do 3 times 15, and I could do 5 times 9. And those are all the factors of the number 45. Now, that's not quite what we're going to be doing in this topic. What we are going to be doing is taking a polynomial and figuring out what factors it has. So, for example, I'm going to give you the polynomial 6x squared minus 27x. And I'm going to ask you what two things were multiplied together to get this polynomial. And through the strategies that we will learn, you will learn that, okay, 3x times 2x minus 9 would be the two factors because I have two things, the 3x and the 2x minus 9, being multiplied together. I found the factors. Another example is maybe I give you the polynomial 2x squared minus 2x minus 24, and I'm going to ask you to factor it, meaning find out what was multiplied together to make this polynomial. And through the strategies we will learn, you'll learn that 2x plus 4 times x minus 6 gives you that polynomial. And then we're even going to build ourselves up to instead of factoring to only have two things being multiplied, we're going to figure out what three things were multiplied together to get this polynomial. So for instance, if I give you this bottom polynomial, 9x cubed plus 72x squared plus 108x, you will be able to find out that the factors of this are 9x times x plus 6 times x plus 2. That's what we're looking at for this topic.